Kike Lavaunu. We also want to, well, the CEO of Orange and Sonatella, both receiving the first lady. Ladies and gentlemen, please be on your feet as we welcome our first lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Thank you. We also want to invite on stage the Member of Parliament for Constituency 028. You are graciously welcome, Her Excellency the First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone. So, we will continue with the invitation to the high table. We want to call on the Director General of NASCAR. We also want to invite on stage the EU representative, if, is he, if he is here. The General Secretary, the General Secretary of Orange, Sierra Leone. Thank you. We want to recognize the presence of the Deputy Minister of Communications and kindly ask that you take your seats at the high table. And we all get seated as we're about to start. Okay, good morning everybody. We want to say a special morning. Good morning to our First Lady for grace in this occasion. We also want to say thank you for acknowledging our invitation. Without further ado, I'd like to call on the chief imam to say the Muslim prayer and the chaplain to please come forward. Jamaatul Muslimin Awal Muslimat Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Barakatuh Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Barakatuh Inshallah the program of Kala God would bless inside But before they go on the prayer force I want to take a silent minute prayer For First Lady Any Twitter account let God make her a blessing for her. If it be sickness, it be anything, the general there, the security there, all right, let them say they inside the blessing. Our Father, so. Amen. I'm in a state of the Wana uzu billahi mina setani raje, ta uzu billahi mina setani raje. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika wa tabaraka ismoka wa ta'ala zaaluka wa la ilaha kaiwaka Inni wajiat wajihia lillazi fatah wa samawat wal arda hanifa ma anna bin al-musirti Alhamdulillah Summa alhamdulillah Inna alhamdulillah Ba'ad alhamdulillah Nahmadu wa nastahinu wa nastakfiruhu Wa na'uzu billahi min sururu anfusin wa sati a'amalina Fa mani ya hadi Allah, fa la mudil Allah Wa mani yudil, fa la hadi Allah Wa ashadu Allah ilaha ila Allah Wa hada Allah sarika Allah Wa ashadu anna muhammada abduhu wa rasuluhu Amma ba'ad Ya ikhwatil muslimina wal muslimata Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu Mr. Lai, God bless you all, ya? The school of our opinion is like what put blessing inside. The way that they start, most of them know their life. When they think, say, he do 99 years in this world, he do 50 years, he do 100 years, not to that you God care for. God care only for you, al salam that al yam we call the nafs. God only need from you three days. Which one are the three days? We don't see yesterday, Wednesday. Today, how are we? You go know if you're going today, or you go see tomorrow. Now, these three days, God will judge for mortal man. It's a leg one that will get a blessing. Yeah? The building will be open. When we then spend the money, let God give them more abundance of money. Let God make them not forget for help. Because now, the 124,000 prophets, they do not build house. God say, when I build house for me, when I the mosque, he say, when I make garden, when I build school, when I make hospital, he say, when I do what I think there, for tomorrow the day of judgment day. Let me make the day of judgment day. What you God do for judgment first, and salad, you pray at first. If you see prayer complete, all the parts we don't do, the prayer will cover up. No doing of the job. Like, all right, when I don't come on to pay this school, when I know not pay for many thousands of dollars, don't go there. But my advice to you people, when I pray, when I pray, God will motivate more, all right. The directors and the workers of all right, let God bless you, yeah? We teachers, we headmistress, we generals, we armed forces, wife them. Let God make the upgrade this place for we. Let God make this place light on to the story back again. Because I'm person they pray God for. So now the teachers, let God do our work. Let God bless you now. They begin their own at the land answer because they have this worker. It's a way educate, educate another person. When you don't educate nobody, you keep that education pipe and greatness. Next world, the dog judgment day. God they put that education in the city of Jahannama. When it goes in pain now, that is God is sentence you. So let God bless you, yeah? So the blessing where Prophet Abraham, where God been commanded for build a house, that the blessing with the kind of this house, so let God multiply that for you, yeah? So what was the army? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa izi arifa ul-kawa ibin amin al-bayt wa isma'il. Rabbana takapal minna inna kanta samil alim Rabbana waja'alni muslimain Laka wa min jurajina ummata muslimata Alaka wa arina manasikan wa tuwala inna kanta tawrahim Allahumma Rabbana wa bu'asa fi rasulullah Minuhu yatul alayhi Ayyatika yalimuhu al-kitab wa al-hikmat wa izakimi inna kanta azizu hakeem Allahumma Rabbana ya Rabbana takapal minna inna kanta samil alim Wa tubu lana wa maulana inna kanta tawrahim Allahumma rabbana la tegana fitnata fitnata li lezina kafara wa kfila rabbana inna kanta zizulakim Allahumma rabbana la tegana fitnata fitnata kwa min zalimin Allahumma rabbana atminana nurana inna kala kulisa in kadir Rabbana atina fi dunia asamatan wa fil akira asamatan wa kina ajaba nar wa kina ajaba al-hasan wa kina ajaba al-jamin Salamu subhanahu wa rabbika, rabbul izzat, ama yasifur, wa salatu wa salam.
dan yahil mursali walhamdulillah rabbil alamin al-fatih jahara auzubillahi minas syaitanir rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin arrahmanirrahim maliki yaumil din iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdina siratal mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta 'alaihim ghairul maghdubi 'alaihim wal dhalin amin la ala blessi anti kawa prayas kepada semua good morning everybody god bless us all in jesus name we are here to witness a remarkable work done by the administration and leadership of Bima, the Bimi Preparatory. We want to thank the Lord this moment for their leadership. Hallelujah. This is Bintu Lavahum. And also this is Hawa Alpha for their serious work done. May God bless them, staff and people of the school. Let us all say Amen. Shall we pray? Lord God Almighty, we thank you this moment that we are here to witness this remarkable work done by your people. Lord, to this community and the nation as a whole. We thank you and we worship you. We extol your name for this great achievement. We also want to thank you that God we are able to bring here with us the mother of our land, Her Excellency, the First Lady, Mrs. Fatima Bui. Lord, we pray that God will continue to bless and take you and Elijah Coast so that Lord, so that Lord will benefit from the gifts that you have given her to make this nation. We thank you also for the leadership of this nation, our Commander in Chief. We also pray that you bless it and the government that good governance will be achieved. We well, thank you, Holy Ghost, for this program that you are about to open. We ask your presence to be here and we pray that Lord you continue to bless all and so on. Lord, education makes brighter the nation. We pray that God, this school, will be a beacon of knowledge in this community and they will provide this community with adequate and meaningful life to our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare this program open in the name of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, to take full prayer and last of the In Jesus' name, we put us out to praise our Father. Who art in heaven? I love thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive those, and lead us not, but deliver us from evil, for thine is thy kingdom, our daily bread, forever and ever. Let the peace of God be with us. We want to thank the Army Chaplain and Chief Imam for their respective prayers. At this point in time, we want to invite on stage the PRO for the Army Wives Cooperative Society to give the welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly delighted to stand before you today on behalf of the Armed Forces Wives Cooperative Society to extend a warm and hearty welcome to you all on this auspicious occasion, which is the commissioning of our newly renovated school, BIME, supported by ORN Sierra Leone Limited. Today, we gather here to celebrate the transformation and revitalization of our school premises. 
I would like to recognize and formally welcome the presence of renowned personalities in our midst. Our beautiful, hardworking, dynamic, and selfless first lady, Her Excellency, Madam Dr. Fatima Mada Bio. Ladies and gentlemen, let us please put our hands together for her. Please. She's a selfless woman. Our honorable ministers and all government officials present here, the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Peter K. Lavaon, Joint Force Commander Major General Browner Alpha, Senior Officers, Men and Women of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Executive Officer of Orange Sierra Leone Limited, Sheku Ahmad Burr and Team, Executive Officer of Sanitel and Team and all gathered here today. This momentous event will not have been possible without the collective efforts, dedication, and the unwavering commitment of our President, Madam Fatima Sabi Sulagahu and Team, and the management of Oren Sarabio under the leadership of Sheku Amaduba. The revitalization of our school is not merely about the physical changes, but also about our unwavering commitment to the intellectual and personal growth of children, of the armed forces and community as a whole. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining us on this joyous occasion as we celebrate the commissioning of our newly renovated school, BME, and we... Before I take my seat, I would like to call on one of our people, Khadija T. Kenyansi, to present this lovely bouquet on behalf of the Armed Forces Wise Cooperative Society and School Management to Her Excellency, the First Lady, Dr. Fatima Mada Bio. I thank you all. the project manager for this project, Mr. Kamal Abbas, to give an uh, overview of the around. project. And after which, we will just um, have a quick video of what this building used to look like. Thank you. Your Excellency, Honorable First Lady of the Republic of Sarayon, Ministers of Government, the Chief of Defense Staff, and Senior Officers of the Republic of the Ministry of Force of Sarayon, Honorable Member of Parliament for Constituency 028, Direct General of NATCA, and colleagues of all in Sarayon, Head Teachers, 
staff and pupils of Pime Beverly School, members of the Fort Estate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to give you a quick overview of the school television project. This request was received from the President of the Republic of the Armed Forces uh, Wives Cooperative Society in April this year. After further engagements between the President herself and the General Secretary of Orange Salon, the request was submitted to our CSR committee, which is also chaired by our able CEO, Mr. Seko Amadouba. On seeing the appealing condition of the school building, the committee made the decision to proceed with this renovation. The renovation was carried out by the Extra Parks Project Salon, who commenced the project in July 2023 this year. On seeing the appealing condition, the committee decided to proceed with the renovation. I want to thank the CEO and the CSR committee members of Salaleu for their commitment in ensuring that the school and the, of the school and believing strongly that education and human capital development is one of the strongest levers for development in the government of Salaleu. I also want to use this opportunity to thank Express Parks contractors for a job well done as you can see. And I can assure you all meeting the standards of all in Salaleu is not an easy task. Without boring with further speeches, I would like to show you a video giving you an overview of the journey of this project. Thank you. to the very important part of this morning's event and that is statement. And at this point in time, I'd like to invite to the podium the CEO of Orange, sorry, the, CD, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Armed Forces of Sierra Leone Army to make a statement. Thank you. Excellency, Madam First Lady, 
Uh, please allow me to just turn on the existing protocols. So that we know it's there. Uh, I know um, the prayer role has welcomed all of you to be made. But then let me welcome all of you again to the military installation. That's for both barracks. That's my role to welcome you. So you are welcome. I'm pleased to join you this morning. I'm deeply honored to share with you in today's inaugural ceremony of the handing over of the BMA Closely and Great School here at Crawford Barracks. The BMA Closely and Great School is one of the oldest Closely and Great School facilities across the armed forces and has provided basic conducive learning environment for the kids of our service personnel here at Crawford Force. About four decades ago, the leadership of the armed forces cooperative society conceived the idea of establishing this school facility. This facility, as the name implies, was to provide luxury and quality school services in a conducive environment where kids of service personnel will be taken care of while their parents or service personnel were at work. Over the years, many of our children have had their first step in learning the opportunity here at the Bimbe Bimbe Nursery Apprentice School. I therefore salute the memory of the past leadership of the Armed Forces Wife Corporate Society for giving on to succeeding generations this educational and learning facility. Education, as we all know, is important to all of us. And it's the only key to success in our personal and professional life. But even as we reflect on what education can offer our kids, sadly this facility has for a while be in the poor state. I'm therefore happy that the leadership of the armed forces, white corporate society, has taken it very seriously. And within the shortest possible time of two months, have been able, through the support of its partner, Orange Trail Limited, to renovate seven classrooms and an office space that we are about inaugurating today. While at time, the entire leadership membership of the Armed Forces Wide Corporate Society, I want to most I want to thank most profoundly the leadership for undertaking this project and making the renovation possible. That our soldiers can now once again have the conditional environment where their kids can have nursing and learning facilities. Distinguished invitees, my deepest gratitude goes out today to Orange Sierra Leone Limited and especially the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Seko Amoduba, Sierra Leone Limited, deserve our warmest appreciation and recognition. They are the sole contributor to the renovation of this nursery and great school. I therefore take this occasion to thank them immensely for their timely corporate social responsibility and offering to undertake this project for the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces as more especially for our school going kids. We are all aware that uh, most of our corporate institutions actually have been providing the sales up to institutions like ours. And uh, this is one of the brightest examples. And I'm aware also, in the last lab, we, we belong to the, uh, we are, we are the centers of the Ultratrist. Those of us who write that book. We will continue to beg, I will always beg. And the fact that uh, whilst you are awake and you are sleeping, it is your responsibility to actually take care of us. And I'm aware the Armed Forces, Wife, Police Wife Society, they have uh, they have conceived another idea to put up an office space, which has never happened. They now want to own an office space. And we are giving them the land space, we are giving them the plan and the side plan. So it's something we have to think of seriously. That we have to support them so that they have their own office.
this phase and then the facilitate of football so where they can develop skills training for their colleagues, women, and even our some of our serving uh, are female, so that in the Aslan. So that just put for thought to all of us. The support to us, the resolution of this facility seeks to bring government free quality education for all. And now they resonate with the sustainable development goal for that is sending more schools to school. I would therefore want to encourage the management of this priority school and the leadership of the Armed Forces Wife to Police Society to take great care of this facility and make good use of this opportunity as a great way of learning for our kids. What Orange Radio Limited has done is to complement the national agenda in the improvement of education for our kids. And by addressing deficiencies and challenges associated with the living, grocery, and priority school. Let me therefore at this stage call on other partners within the Human Force community and beyond to emulate the good work of Orange to Hello Limited in supporting the Armed Forces Branch Community Society with the corporate social responsibility as a way of giving back to the communities and societies where they operate. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for your kind attention and God bless. Thank you. We want to thank the Chief of Defense Staff of the Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Lieutenant General P.K. Lavaon, for that wonderful statement. At this point in time, we want to invite on stage the CEO of Orange Sierra Leone, Mr. Seko Amadouba, to give a statement. Your Excellency, the Honorable First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Ministers of the Government, the Chief of Defense of the Sierra Leone Army, Honorable Member of the Parliament for Constituency 28, Director General of NAPCA, Deputy Director General of NAPCA, Deputy Minister of Communication, Dear colleague, Chairman of OSL, sorry. I want, as a company, we understand the essence of giving back to the communities in which we operate. That is why we did not hesitate to provide the philanthropic support required to this local community school to create a positive impact on children's lives and to foster educational sustainability. When we received the request from the Army Wives Association to support with renovation the school, we were compelled to take action to refurbish the school due to the deplorable state of the building that made it unfit for learning. Because we recognize that good facilities and good infrastructure are important for producing good school outcomes. Today, we are happy to say to refurbish the school with seven classrooms will host about 20, 280 pupils, giving the children of the BME school better facilities for an effective learning environment to nurture the leaders of the future. If a community is to improve its economic and social well-being, it needs to invest in human capital development by providing a good education to give the children we see here today the foundation to grow and develop into productive members of the society. Orange Sierra Leone will continue to play a key role in the five big game changers of the government through our various CSR foundation project to drive human capital development and youth employment to contribute effectively to His Excellency, the President Julius Madabio's vision
for the Republic of Sierra Leone. We are happy and proud to formally hand over this learning facility to the school administration, together with Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone. I'm confident that the people of this school will make full use of these new facilities to improve their education and contribute to their country's progress by achieving full and rewarding lives in the future. It said that opening a school is closing a prison. So we are closing prison by opening the school. I wish to express my profound appreciation to Your Excellency, the First Lady, Dr. Fatima Jabi Madabio, for collaborating with us on this project. And we look forward to many more future collaborations with the Office of the First Lady. I thank the Ministry of Basic Senior and Secondary School for their collaborative approach through the years. I also want to take the opportunity to thank the Army Wives Corporation, Cooperative Society, and the school administration for giving us the opportunity to support our local community and for showing the spirit of cooperation to provide a school facility that the children deserve. Thank you. Thank you, CEO Seku Amaduba. We will now call on the CEO of Sonatel, Mr. Seku Dramay, to make a statement. the Honorable First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Ministers of Government, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Sierra Leone Army, Honorable Member of Parliament for Constituency 28, Director General Nakka, CEO and colleagues of Orange Sierra Leone, Head Teacher, Staff, Pupils of Bimei Preparatory School, members of the Force Estate, distinguished West ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a pleasure for me to be here today as we commission the Bimei Nursery and Preparatory School. This project is the reflection of Sonatel and Orange Group's commitments towards fostering sustainable development in education to build seeds for the future. The objective of our group CSR policy is to deploy sustainable development goals at the heart of all our affiliates across Africa and Middle East that will be embedded in four areas. The first is well-being of communities in which we operate. Second area, good governance. The third, growth and economic development through our investment. And the fourth, preservation of the environment. And today we are proud has that we are proud that Orange Sea Eleven is giving back to the community in which it operates to ensure wellness of the local community through its educational pillar on CSR build human capital development. In the last five years, we are the first telecoms company to launch a partnership with the Ministry of Basic and Senior and Secondary Education to build early child development centers across the country. Through our Orange Foundation, we have built five ultra-modern modern early child development centers, schools, in the following districts. Cambia, Bujewun, Port Loco, Moyomba, and Chihun, respectively. These early development child centers enroll children between the age of two to 
four years and hold at least 48 pupils per school. And here in BMA, it's even more. And we have also started the construction of the sixth ECD school for the community of South Delta. We had a company and had a group are committed towards fostering development in education, as it is the backbone of any society in the world. And we recognize the role it plays in developing country. We commend the government for taking step to improve education quality. But we know that government efforts could not be enough. And this is why I used to say this is the only area where we are open to competition. And we are calling to all companies to join the effort and to, to help and the government deliver its ambition. Oran Sialemon, on behalf of my voice, have a chairman of the board, wishes to express its firm commitment to be a trusted partner of the government for development for development to support the five big game changers through driving human capital, youth employment, and through our continued investment in technology and infrastructure. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Messi, or Sonato, for your statement. We will now call to the podium the Member of Parliament for Constituency 128 to make a statement. Excellency Mo. Thank you so much for all of this invitation. After an active trip, thank you so much. Madam Chair, please permit me to stand on an existing protocol as I give a statement on this important event. Sometimes people can let, sometimes people say we like to talk as MP, but the rest is going to be brief. And maybe why sometimes we talk an event like this, when you come home, you feel at home. Yeah, it's my place, Orange is my place. I'm proud to be an Orangia. Thank you so much. I'm very delighted to be here this morning to witness this handing over of this new renovated Raman Nozzi Preparatory School facility which is under my constituency and under my district and under my region. I want to start by thanking Orange Sierra Leone for agreeing to undertake this project. Orange has been a very much intentionally when it comes to meeting its corporate social responsibility. They have continued hard work towards educa education sector in Sierra Leone cannot be overemphasize. The government of President Julius Marabio has prioritized human capital development and transformation of this nation with the FQE, the Free Quality Education, agenda being backbone of it. Over the years, Orange Sierra Leone has all been proved several facilities to my constituency short as donating digital kits to primary school, the establishment of computer lab, provide water tank, support of community needs during the coronavirus outbreak. May God bless and expand your network. I thank the management and staff of Orange Sierra Leone for agreeing to undertake this novel venture I want to assure you that this investment you have made here today will go unnoticed. To the teachers and pupils of the school, I want you to take very good care of this facility, which is, belongs to you. Please, let's put away time 
let's put away party aside. Let's take this particular venture as our own and as our own need for our kids. Once more, I want to thank you all. God bless you. Thank you very much, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Constituency 1 to 8. We will now invite the Director General of NATCA to make a statement. Madam First Lady, um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, um, please allow me to stand on existing protocols. Um, when you talk about Orange for the most part, people think about telecoms networks and stuff like that. Now the fact that Orange is um, rebuilding or has rebuilt this facility falls in line with their corporate social responsibility duties. Corporate social responsibility or corporate social impact our contributions, private businesses, or public institutions on the take for societal goals. Corporate social models make business socially accountable to themselves and their stakeholders in the public. Some other schools of thought consider corporate social responsibility as a management concept whereby companies or businesses integrate social, integrate environmental concerns in their business operations with their stakeholders. Over the years, Orange Australia has shown that commitment to become fully integrated into the hearts and minds of the people with whom they do business. These social interventions with health, education, agriculture, digital inclusion from Orange Social, from Orange Australia are bound for all to see. They promote equality by way of giving back to the community. Health in general, and specifically the health of people with disabilities. Education in general, and digital education in particular with digital school projects. Agriculture, supporting farmers and local businesses. Digital inclusion driving digital transformation and giving young people the keys to a digital world to lead the future. Corporate social responsibility from Orange Sierra Leone is dedicated towards meeting the social economic needs of Sierra Leone. Orange Sierra Leone's corporate social responsibility and education very well mirrors with the government of Sierra Leone's premium on education, capital development, Foundational learning, which encompasses early childhood development, is a key and critical factor in capacity building. We are all aware of the catchphrase, catch them young, which is what is at play here. Orange Sierra Leone has committed to construction of six early learning child development centers. To date, Orange Australia has built five ECD schools in Cambia, Pujahun, Port Walker, and Moyaba districts. Other interventions have included safeguarding maternal mortality, renovation of PCM Hospital, and supporting World Autism Day. We appreciate the work of Orange Australia in this direction. As a regulator, we will continue to encourage Orange and other service providers to continue to pay attention to corporate social responsibilities as this will build on the trust between business entities and the public, increase brand recognition, and improve customer loyalty. With these words, please permit me to say thank you to Orange William as I encourage you to do more. Thank you. Thank you, Director General of NATCA, for your statement. We want to recognize the representative from the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education as the Minister is unavoidably absent. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the high point of this morning's event. Please, um, I'd like you to give a round of applause as we invite on stage the First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone.